Stop recording. Hello, folks. This is Brandon here, and I, I know uh, I've, been, I've been hearing some, uh, you know, talk about the, the, you know, new voice on the weather radio, and I've, I've been hearing some people say, well, it's not as fast as Tom is. I apologize for the video, either whatever the, what, however it looks here in this video, but I can't really do much about it because I'm not very good with arcing cameras, and that's me rocking back and forth as you hear in the background. Um, a couple of things to kind of take note of about the new voice that's being rolled out on the weather radio is that it is a brand new system. Also note, the Tom voice was from an old defunct system that is honestly starting to lose its, in my opinion, starting to lose its way. Uh, it has lost it really a long time ago. And the version of Tom they were really using was never updated since 2003. So it's really obsolete, the version they're using. If they wanted to apply the new one, it might be a bit problematic because the new version of Tom, not even it sounds as good a quality. In fact, he sounds more nasally as the newer version. And he pauses longer, too. Let me explain to you something about the new system. It is NeoSpeech Paul is what they're using on the weather radio. And the reason I know this is because on my computer, in fact, I have... It's a... Uh, Synthesizer dialogue. My, my, my I too. Voice set. VW iTunes. Verism IndyCar Series radio broadcasts updated today at 9, 19 a.m. Tree view. Okay, so... Two hours, 56 minutes, 2016 IndyCar race from Barber, IMG. Okay. Same, same voice, Neo Speech Paul, but obviously through a computer on a screen reader. The difference is, the reason why everybody is saying, well, it's too slow, it really isn't that much different. The difference is that it's a different speech engine. Um, to explain the way speech engines work, they are basically a system which implies an algorithm of patterns, be it, and in this case, we're going to deal with the high quality voices, because for those who don't know, the lower quality voices use what's called synthesis by rule. A good example, this is the neo-speech voices, like you hear on the weather radio, or you're beginning to hear on the weather radio, and the older voice actually use a system of data um, recorded samples. Let me put this on my desk, because I'm probably going to have to unplug that. Yes, I will, in fact. Okay. That's why I don't keep on not really do this, I'm knocking this off the desk. That would be a miracle. Miracle on this street. <laughs> okay. Sorry for the dust, folks. So, I said synthesis by rule. Now, this is speech by recorded samples. You can actually tell. Input help on. Enter. Space. S. R. N. M. Enter. Space. NVDA plus one. Input help off. Okay, that's recorded samples. What I mean by recorded samples is each of the samples recorded were spliced together to make what we hear as a speech synthesizer. So, I'm going to go to Notepad real quick. Run. Untitled Notepad. Edit multi-line. Blank. And I'm just going to type in a short little uh, sentence. Actually, no, I'm going to open a file. Open dot. Item. And... It's Linux. called it's called Linux Q. Now, this document was written uh, because of uh, some recent uh, assistance I was gotten. So here, take a listen to this sample. I will play this with Tom in a moment with the version of Tom similar to what you hear on the weather radio. A new version of Tom that I have from Vocalizer for NVDA. And then the speech, uh, which I'll start with. All you gotta do once you run the script is open Pavo Control and redirect Socks to Mixbox. Start Socks doing something, preferably not using your mic. It'll be the last thing before the comma box in playback. Then go to the recording tab 
make sure the thing in virtual streams is muted and set the one in applications to monitor of mix box. Okay, now that's perfect. Now that's on your speech, Paul. I kind of like the way he read that. A little bit nicer. Yeah, there's some words that kind of strung out and Mike, M-I-C. It's not going to get that perfect, okay? Uh, that's the same thing with uh, Tom. Let's go ahead. Let's go and switch, in fact, Synth to scans off Tom. Sam. Uh, well, you're not going to do it from the synthesizer list, Brennan. Come on. Voice settings. Scout. 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 Ray. Volume. 80. Linux. And try the same thing. All you got to do once you're on the script is open Pavel Control and redirect Sox to Mixbox. Start Sox doing something, preferably not using your mic. It'll be the last thing before the combo box and playback. Then go to the recording tab, make sure the thing in virtual streams is muted, and set the one in applications to monitor a mix box. Okay, that wasn't supposed to happen. That wasn't a very accurate representation. But, uh, you get the idea. Except, you notice, he sounds a little bit more angrier. They didn't want an angry voice on the weather radio. And plus, they've been using Tom for 15 years. The Mara voice, which we know as AT&T Crystal, also... Voice... ATT Lynette, all you gotta do once you run the script is open Pav U Control and redirect Sox to Mixbox. Start Sox doing something, preferably not using your MIC. It'll be the last thing before the combo box and playback. Then go to the recording tab, make sure the thing in virtual streams is muted, and set the one in applications to monitor of Mixbox. Okay, so you may notice that the the voice is a little bit more mon monotonous let me now switch to um another voice in comparison Conflict. and this is eloquence all you gotta do once you run the script is open have your control and read the red socks to mid box start socks doing something preferably not using your mid it'll be the last thing before the combo box and playback then go to the recording tab Make sure the thing in virtual streams is muted, and set the one in applications to monitor of mix box. Okay, one more time. Synthesizer. New, new, um, with Tom. Linux. The new version. Ver voice Tom at pitch 50. And I can Vo vol afford to bring his volume up in here. All you gotta do once you run the script is open panel control and redirect socks to mix box. Start socks doing something, preferably not using your mic. It'll be the last thing before the combo box in playback. Then go to the recording tab, make sure the thing in virtual streams is muted, and set the one in applications to monitor of mix box. Alright, now, something that the weather service documented uh, in Brownsville when they first began testing of the new voice back in January of this year. One of the things they pointed out is in the Rio Grande Valley, the biggest problem that a lot of people pointed out was the fact the voice was always going too quickly. And even if you slow down Tom, you find when you slow him down, he starts to sound... Well, let's slow him down and you'll see. Um, if you're using Tom, that is. Hold on. Brandon, you need to help get your cause a little easier if you... Linux pitch rate, rate, rate 40, rate 35. All you gotta do, play Q, P, L. Rate, P, L, A, Y. Okay, he, he starts sounding rather, you can hear the artifacting happening as the sample's being slowed down, and the splicing is way too much. Um, Vocalizer and Speechify did not do a very good job of, and it's not necessarily because it's not something that's in their repertoire, but synthesizers have to be able to, when slowed down, handle the, uh, have to be able to keep the pitch rules. Well, when you slow the speed down, it actually breaks the pitch rules. So that is exactly one one of the things they they look at. So this is why there's part of that now. As for why is the weather service switching to the new system, the weather service office in Huntsville, the gentleman who wrote me back on the email said it best. The reason why they're doing this, the system that has been employed for the last 15 years is an old and outdated system. The computers by which they run on are actually older computers with an older version of the Linux hardware that is operating the console replacement system and the Dectalk speech synthesizer as well as Speechify. 
We have noticed, have we not, with the older computers, that the hardware, in fact, actually tends to, at times, stop in the middle of certain things and fails very often. This failure very often sometimes is a big problem and is a big minus because they spend more time working and on correcting the errors that take place. What they end up having to do now is implement a new system. The AWIPS2 system, which is coming out, being rolled out, also incorporates the addition of the Broadcast Message Handler, or BMH. The BMH Broadcast Message Handler actually happens to have a little bit of a, a plus to it. The plus being that the voice that is on there is much higher quality, and watches and warnings are disseminated much faster. I want you to listen to the tornado warning that was issued for a couple of counties in Alabama that you'll see where it says new voice. Compare that to this one with the old voice. Take a listen at how long it takes for them to get to the public warning alarm tone, the 1050 hertz signal, and then the message. Then listen to, this, listen to that new voice and compare the difference. So that should give you an idea as to how much better this new system is. I like the new system. I know some of you said, well, it's not as good as the Tom voice is. Well, problem with Tom voice is he's too quick. And I say that as in, even with slowed down, he's either too quick or too spliced. You can't really get him to sound as right as you need to. And he seems like he runs everything together in my book. So it's good to see that they're putting out a new system. That might help answer some of you people up there. Uh, the Spokane voice, the reason it sounds slower right now is because they just put in the system. They want to run it through at its lower, at a slower pace for right now because it is a new voice. Like just starting it off really fast might be a bit of a not a good idea. So running it slower, maybe in the next month or so, I, I suspect it'll be faster.